Richard Roll was an English hermit, mystic, and religious writer. He is also known as Richard Roll of Hampole or de Hampole, since at the end of his life he lived near a Cistercian nunnery in Hampole, Yorkshire. In the words of Nicholas Watson, scholarly research has shown that D. During the 15th century he was one of the most widely read of English writers, whose works survive in nearly 400 English. and at least 70 continental manuscripts, almost all written between 1390 and 1500. Life In his works, Roll provides little explicit evidence about his early life and education. Most, if not all, of our information about him comes from the Office of Lessons and Antiphons that was composed in the 1380s in preparation for his canonization. Although this never came about, born into a small farming family and brought up at Thornton le Dale near Pickering, he studied at the University of Oxford, where he was sponsored by Thomas de Neville, the Archdeacon of Durham. While there, he is said to have been more interested in theology and biblical studies than philosophy and secular studies. He left Oxford at age 18 or 19, dropping out before he received his M.A., to become a hermit. Leaving the family home, he first went to Pickering, and housed with a squire, John Dalton, for perhaps three years. It was probably while still living with Dalton, two years and eight months after becoming a hermit, Roll had his first mystical experience. Around a year later, he felt similarly after listening to a choir, and he began to take less interest in all things temporal. Dalton himself was arrested and his lands confiscated in 1322. The lack of mention of this fact in accounts of Roll's life makes it likely that he was no longer living with Dalton by this point. It is unclear where Roll lived from 1,321 halves until his death in 1349. One theory is that Roll spent the early 1320s at the renowned Sorbonne, becoming well trained in theology, and perhaps being ordained there. This theory is based on the entries in three 17th century manuscripts at the Sorbonne, assumed to be copies of medieval originals, which record a Ricardus de Hampole as being admitted to the Sorbonne in 1320, entering the Prior's Register in 1326, and noting that he died in 1349 among the Sisters of Hampole near Doncaster in Yorkshire. Scholars, however, are divided on the authenticity of this material. Whether or not Roll studied in Paris, it is probable that most if not all of this time was spent in Richmondshire, either living with his family at Yawforth, or, given the uncertain political conditions in the region at the time, wandering from patron to patron. Around 1348, Roll knew the Yorkshire anchoress Margaret Kirkby, who was his principal disciple and the recipient of much of his writings and would be important in establishing his later reputation. Roll died in Michaelmas 1349 at the Cistercian Nunnery at Hampole. Because of his time spent here, where he was director of the inmates, he is sometimes known as Richard Roll of Hampole, or de Hampole. It is unclear what his function was there. He was not the nun's official confessor, who was a Franciscan. In any case, it is unlikely he would have had ecclesiastical sanction for this, since unless the theory about his ordination in Paris is correct, he was probably not ordained, since his name is not in the list of those ordained in the dioceses of York or Durham in the relevant years. However, he wrote the form of living and his English Psalter for a nun there, Margaret Kirkby, who later took up a similar life to Roll, as an anchoress, and Ego Dormio for a nun at Yettingham. It is possible that he died of the Black Death, but there is no direct evidence for this. He was buried first in the nun's cemetery at Hampole. Later records of people making offerings of candles at his shrine show that he was moved first to the chancel and then to his own chapel. Works <laughs> 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 Roll probably began writing in the early 1330s, and continued until his death, but there is no certain chronology of his various works. He wrote in both Latin and English, with his English works apparently all dating from after C1340. The precise dating of Roll's works is a matter of much modern dispute. The dates set out by Hope Emily Allen in 1927 have been widely used by later writers, but in 1991 Nicholas Watson set out a rather different vision of the chronology of Roll's writing. In one of his best known works, Incendium Amoris, The Fire of Love, Roll provides an account of his mystical experiences, which he describes as being of three kinds a physical warmth in his body, a sense of wonderful sweetness, and a heavenly music that accompanied him as he chanted the Psalms. 
The book was widely read in the Middle Ages, and described the four purgative stages that one had to go through to become closer to God, described as open door, heat, song, and sweetness. His last work was probably the English The Form of Living, written in autumn 1348 at the earliest. It is addressed to Margaret Kirkby, who entered her enclosure as a recluse on 12 December 1348, and as a vernacular guide for her life as an anchorite. His works are often classified into commentaries, treatises and epistles. As such, the commentaries are Commentary on the readings in the Office of the Dead taken from Job. This commentary on nine readings from the Book of Job which form part of the readings for the Office of the Dead was used extensively by York clergy in the 15th century. Surviving in 42 manuscripts, it was the first of Rolls' works to be printed, in Oxford in 1483. Commentary on the Canticles, a commentary on the first two and a half verses of the Song of Songs. It survives in 30 manuscripts. Two commentaries on the Psalter. One is in Latin, and may belong to the very early period after Roll left Oxford. The second is an English commentary with translation of the Latin Psalms into English, which was designed to help Margaret Kirkby to understand the doctrines behind the Psalms she was to chant in her anchorage. For nearly 200 years this commentary remained the only authorized translation of the Bible into English, it did not need diocesan permission for its use. It exists in about 20 manuscripts. Treatise on Psalm chapter 20, in Latin Super Thrones, a commentary on the Lamentations of Jeremiah Commentary on the Apocalypse, on the first six chapters of the Book of Revelation. Other commentaries on the Lord's Prayer, the Magnificat and the Apostles' Creed. An English explication of the Ten Commandments Super Mularum Fortem, a comment on Proverbs chapter 31 verse 10. Other works include Two English meditations on the Passion Judica Me Deus, probably his first work, written around 1330. This survives in four versions, and is an apologia for his hermit lifestyle, making use of the pastoral manual of a fellow Yorkshireman, William of Pagula. Contra Amators Mundi Against the Lovers of the World, which survives in 42 manuscripts. Incendium Amoris The Fire of Love, written before 1343 the date of Roll's marginal note, which survives in 44 manuscripts 15 from the continent and one Middle English translation. Melos Amoris or Melum Contemplativorum The Melody of Love, which survives in 10 manuscripts. The Form of Living, his last work, which survives in 30 manuscripts. It contains twelve chapters and was written at Hampole for Margaret Kirkby when she was living in a cell in Richmondshire. Three letters survive. All are addressed to single recipients, and contain much similar material. Emendatio Vitae Amending of Life. This was the most popular work of Roll, with 110 manuscripts 17 from the continent, and seven independent Middle English translations. Ego Dormio, a Middle English prosimetrum, one of two letters written for nuns, the title comes from the insipid of the work, and is from Song of Songs 5.2. The Commandment, one of two letters written for nuns, works once thought to be roles. While the most popular poem in Middle English, The Prick of Conscience, was once attributed to him, it is now known to have been written by an anonymous Yorkshire author in the 14th century. It is now thought that De Dei Misericordia, a comment on Psalm chapter 88 verse 2, was written by John Waldeby in the later 14th century. Topic. Later reputation and veneration Richard Roll inspired a flourishing cult, especially in the north of England, which was still active at the time of the English Reformation. Part of this may have been due to the efforts of Margaret Kirkby, who moved to the Priory, probably between 1381 and 1383, to be near the body of her master, Roll. Margaret may have spent the last ten years of her life here, and between 1381 and 1383 a liturgical office for Roll, including a great deal of biographical information about him, was written. It likely includes stories about him remembered by older members of the community. Roll's works were widely read in the 14th and 15th centuries, more so even than Chaucer. Works of his survive in about 470 manuscripts written between 1390 and 1500, and in 10 16th and early 17th century printed editions including the 16th century edition by Weinken de Word. In some manuscripts, Roll's commentary on the Psalter is interpolated with Lollard teaching, providing indications of one group who read his work. Roll's work was not uncontroversial. 
He was criticized by Walter Hilton and the author of The Cloud of Unknowing. A defense of Roll's work was written by the hermit Thomas Bassett in the late 14th century against the attack of an unnamed Carthusian. The shrine and priory at his burial place of Hampole was dissolved on the 19th of November 1539. The remains can be seen in an old schoolhouse in Hampole. Roll is honored in the Church of England on the 20th of January and in the Episcopal Church USA together with Walter Hilton and Marjorie Kemp on the 28th of September. Topic: <laughs> Modern editions. Andrew Albin, Richard Roll's Melody of Love, a study and translation, with manuscript and musical contexts, Pontifical Institute of Mediaeval Studies, 2018 contains an alliterative English translation of the Melos Amoris, plus a spurious chapter, manuscript marginalia, and associated music, see also companion website Francis Comper, The Life of Richard Roll, J.M. Dent 1928 contains an English translation of the Office for Roll on pp. 301-11. The original Latin text of the Office is in Reginald M. Woolley, The Officium et Miracula of Richard Roll of Hampel SPCK, 1919. English Writings of Richard Roll Hermit of Hampel, ed. Hope Emily Allen 1931. The Contra Amateurs Mundi of Richard Roll of Hampel, introduced in trans. Paul F. Tyner, University of California Press, 1968 Translation into English, alongside Latin text, of Liber de Amore Dei Contra Amateurs Mundi. Le Chant d'Amour Melos Amoris, ed. François Vandenbroek, Cerf, 1971 This uses the Latin text of the edition of E.J.F. Arnold, 1957, alongside a parallel French translation. The Fire of Love, trans. Clifton Wolters, Penguin, 1972 Biblical Commentaries, Short Exposition of Psalm Chapter 20, Treatise on the Twentieth Psalm, Comment on the First Verses of the Canticle of Canticles, Commentary on the Apocalypse, Trans. Robert Bonig, Institut fur Anglistik und Amerikanistik, Universitat Salzburg, 1984 Richard Roll, The English Writings, Trans, ed., and introduced by Rosamund Allen. Classics of Western Spirituality, Paulist Press, SPCK, 1988 includes modern editions of the English Psalter and Commentary, The Ten Commandments, Meditations on the Passion, Ghostly Gladness, The Bee and the Stork, Desire and Delight, Ego Dormio, The Commandment, and the Form of Living, Richard Roll, Prose and Verse, ed. S. J. Ogilvy Thompson, Early English Text Society 293, Oxford, OUP, 1988 This is the standard modern edition of many of Roll's Middle English works, with the important exception of the English Psalter, Malcolm Robert Moises, Richard Roll's Expositio Super Noem Lectiones Mortuorum, 2 vols, Salzburg, 1988. The Tractatus Super Samum Visimum of Richard Roll of Hampol, ed., and Trans. James C. Dolan, Edwin Mellon Press, 1991. The Fire of Love, ed., by Halcyon Backhaus, Hodder and Stoughton, 1992 Translation of Incendium Amoris Richard Roll, Emendatio Vitae. Orationes ad honorum Naminis Ihesu, ed. Nicholas Watson, PIMS, 1995 The Latin Text of Emendatio Vitae Richard Roll, Uncollected Prose and Verse with Related Northern Text, ed., by Ralph Hanna for the Early English Text Society, Oxford University Press, 2008 Spall, Rudiger, ed., De Emendation Vitae Eine kritische Ausgabe des Lateinischen Textes von Richard Roll mit einer Übersetzung ins Deutsche und Untersuchungen zu den Lateinischen und Englischen Handschriften Vandenhoek and Ruprecht, 2009, Critical Edition of the Emendatio Vitae Hudson, Anne, ed., Two Revised Versions of Roll's English Psalter Commentary and the Related Canticles, Vols. 1-3, ISBN 9780199669. Early English Text Society, O.S. 341-3 Oxford University Press, 2012-4 Topic See also Christian Mysticism Mystical Theology Henry Suso The Cloud of Unknowing Walter Hilton Topic References Topic Further reading Gillespie, Vincent, Venus, Samuel 2012. The Cambridge Companion to Medieval English Mysticism. Cambridge University Press. Retrieved of May 2015. Hannah, Ralph 2013. The Transmission of Richard Roll's Latin Works. The Library. 14 3, 314-333. Crable, Andrew 2012. 
The use of Richard Roll's Latin Psalter in Richard Ullerston's Expositio Canticorum Scriptura. Medium Avum. 81–139–44. McElroy, Clare The English Prose Treatises of Richard Roll, Cambridge, D. S. Brewer Renové, Dennis Language, Self and Love, Hermeneutics in the Writings of Richard Roll and the Commentaries on the Song of Songs, University of Wales Press Roman, Christopher Queering Richard Roll. Rosensky, Stephen Authority and Exemplarity in Henry Suso and Richard Roll. In E. A. Jones. The Medieval Mystical Tradition in England, Exeter Symposium 8. Cambridge, D. S. Brewer. pp. 93-108. Sutherland, Annie 2005. Biblical Text and Spiritual Experience in the English Epistles of Richard Roll. The Review of English Studies. 56 227, 696-711. Van Dussen, Michael 2012. Common Ground, Richard Roll on the Edges of Orthodoxy in England and Bohemia. From England to Bohemia, Heresy and Communication in the Later Middle Ages. Cambridge University Press. pp. 37-62. Retrieved the 22nd of June 2015. Watson, Nicholas 1991, Richard Roll and the Invention of Authority, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. Topic. External links Works by Richard Roll at Project Gutenberg Works by or about Richard Roll at Internet Archive Category, Middle English Language Category, Middle English Literature Category, English Nonfiction Books Category, English Language Literature